growing up, religion was pounded on me. So when I graduated high school, I kind of went my separate way. There was no drive to go to church. I wanted to be as far away from it as I could. Um, then I went to the service and saw and did things that pushed me even further away from religion. Um, when I got out of the service, I met Melissa. And we started our relationship. We uh, we were on the same page at we were, the time. Yeah. I mean, we both were like, eh, there's something. something. <laughs> and she started going to church, but I still wasn't ready to take that step, that leap of faith. Um, and didn't criticize her for going. There was no tension for her going. It just wasn't for me. And um, <laughs> I, I joke with her and said, like to tease her and tell me that, tell her that she tricked me into going to church because she said she wanted to go to this thing that the church was having it called was build. build. Yeah. Well, we sat through build and after build something started to pull a little bit harder or for me to come to church and then we started life groups and it just everything at city just clicked. We've had a hard time connecting when I was going to church and he wanted nothing to do with it. And I would try to talk to him about something I had learned. Maybe we should try this. He would shut me down. But I just remembered like it was put on me like things could just be so much better. Everything felt like a struggle for me. If, if he would just do this, if he would just take that step and do this. And then um, I finally got, I got baptized and we, we started walking together on the path. Obviously, she was still further ahead of me in her journey than I am, but it, it did bring us together, and now we we're all going the same direction. For me, it's letting go of the past um, and not feeling like I have to catch up with her in her walk because that is, for me, that, that's a struggle because I know where she's at. Yes, I know I will eventually get there. I think for the couples who are out there that might be going through the same thing that we are, um, whether you're one of you goes to church and the other one doesn't go at all, um, or you're, you're where we're at right now, um, which is you're both going to church, but you just can't like get connected together and, and walk that path together as well as maybe you would like pray, just keep praying. That's what I did for 12 years before my prayers were answered with Chris, um, you know, taking that step, accepting Jesus and getting baptized.